Christy. How are you? I am amazingly well. I am so excited to have you on the podcast today. So first of all, tell me what you did in your prior life before you were a PNC agent. Uh, before I was a PNC agent, I was actually a junior high math teacher for 17 years, uh, seventh and eighth grade math. I've got, I bet you've got some stories. Oh, I have tons of stories. <laughs> Is it more difficult to run your own business or have a hundred screaming kids in the classroom? Um, they both have their very own, um, um challenges. Um, I do not work and do everything by a bell anymore, but you know, I do have to figure out how to make my own schedule, which was a challenge in the beginning, but I'm doing good at that now. Um, I don't have to deal with parents. It's not the kids that are the issue. It's the parents that are more the issue. Um, mostly parents that think their kids do no wrong. So, um, I'm glad to not have to be dealing with that anymore. I still get to educate and help people, so I do really enjoy that aspect of it. Um, I enjoy you know, doing my own thing, having my own schedule. It's the best. That is awesome. Well, I'm so excited to have you on um, Ask an Expert today. We've been talking about this for a couple of months, uh, and I think that our listeners really need to understand insurance because there's, well, there's like a hundred different kinds of insurance, but today yes. we're specifically talking about uh, property and casualty insurance. But before we get into that, you have like a really interesting hobby that's kind of a COVID has shut it down for the last couple of months, but I'm so excited about seeing you do this. Tell our listeners what one of your favorite hobbies is. So my favorite hobby is actually playing roller derby. Um, I play in Dallas, so I practice and play in Dallas, uh, and my league is called Assassination City Roller Derby. Um, the whole league is based around the JFK assassination, so all the team names are related to that somehow. Um, my home team is the Deadly Kennedys, and yes, COVID has shut it down for the last couple months. So I'm definitely missing my outlet for being able to skate, hit people, and skate fast, and um, just have a good time and not have to worry about any kids or anything, any responsibilities, just getting out and playing. I cannot wait until it starts up again. When is it going to start up again? Well, they canceled the season. Um, so there's, there's not going to be any games this season. We may be able to have something in August or September. It just kind of depends on how things go. Uh, right now we're not even practicing. Maybe in July, hopefully we'll start practicing now that the skating rinks are starting to open back up because we actually practice and play in a skating rink. It's not a sports center. It's like regular skating rink with the wood floors and, um, teeny tiny bathrooms and that smell of varnish on the floor, uh, smell of uh, toe stops, burnt rubber. <laughs> How does one get into the roller derby? Um, so I, it's been about seven years I've been playing this sport and seven years this cuts like next week actually. Um, yeah, so my daughters were very interested in getting skates for their eighth birthday. And I was like, hey, I know how to skate. I can do that. And so I bought them some skates. We went to the skating rink. Uh, they had a good time. And there was a skate shop next door. So I um, went next door and just looked at the skates. And they're like, yeah, these are derby entry skates. And I'm like, oh, they do derby around here? And he's like, yeah. And he showed me the website. And I went and checked out about and been hooked ever since so that was june of 2013 so it's been almost exactly seven years so. that is crazy i am so excited i can't wait to see you do that i've always wanted to see the roller derby i remember my mom talking about it um when she was a kid and she actually got to watch it um so i'm pretty excited to uh see you do that Hold on just a second. We had a problem with the recording. I should do another Ask an Expert and then I can talk about roller derby. <laughs> yeah, I should. All right, we're back. 
<laughs> Sorry about that. That's Somebody okay. called. It messed up my thing. Um, uh. Yeah. Um, so why is it important for people to know about property and cash flow? Now, first of all, before we even get into it, I know a little bit about it because I've been in BNI for years and I've heard insurance agents talk about mm -hmm. uh, property and casualty. But when we're talking about property and casualty insurance, what specifically are we talking about? Uh, we're talking about homeowners insurance, renters insurance, um, auto insurance, flood insurance, and umbrella insurance. Those are the four that I, the four or five things that I focus on. So if you own something or drive something that, or live somewhere, then you're, you should have, you'll have personal coverage. So house and car? House and car. And mm -hmm. um, so that's really what we're talking about today. Why is it important for a consumer to know about what kind of insurance they have? Why can't they just go online and order from, you know, iinsurance.com i don't even know if that's a thing and just get it from there instead of using an agent like you so if you go online um the so here's a really great example right you can go on progressive online and you can get a quote um you can write your own policy um but you have no idea like what you should be what kind of coverages you need what your coverages actually cover um, so that's what I do. I make sure that my clients are educated. So you can go online and do a progressive quote, or you can call me and I can do a progressive quote. And I can also explain to you what kind of coverages you're getting, um, what everything means. People think there's not much to car insurance, but there is so many little ins and outs about insurance and car insurance that, um, you really need to actually speak with somebody and not try to just write your own. You should ask an ex expert and figure out what right coverages are right for you based on what you drive or where you live or how much you drive or how old your children are, if they're on the policy. Um, but with an agent like me, I have the opportunity to shop several different carriers. So I cannot just shop Progressive. I can shop Nationwide and Safeco and multiple other companies that we do business with. Wow. I was on a call yesterday uh, with a master networks and somebody goes, it's so much better to have an agent because then when I call to gripe at somebody, I know who I can call and gripe to. Yeah. <laughs> so the best thing about having an agent is it's, it's face to face, right? If you yeah. need anything, you just call me, text me, email me, and I will do everything I can to take care of your situation. I can advise you about if you should actually even make a claim. Um, so I've had lots of people who call me and they're like, Hey, I'm stuck on the side of the road. What should I do next? And I'm just like, okay, so, you know, that 800 number on your card, let's call, um, you know, roadside assistance and get a tow truck out there and let me know how it goes. Cause if my company doesn't take good care of you, then I need to know that in the future, maybe I don't want to write business with them. So uh, my clients are really good about calling me, emailing me, text me, um, anytime they have a problem or anytime they need anything um, and taking care of it. And, you know, one thing about Goosehead is yes, you have the face-to-face -face agent. That's me, but I also have an entire service team of professionals behind me that are also licensed insurance agents. So if it's something that I can't change right away, then I'm, I trust that my team is going to help take care of it, but I'm your first point of contact. Um, and that, you know, it's different. It's better to have somebody to call and a face rather than, um, you know, you just call and you call another company and you don't know who you're going to talk to. And they're like, oh, I got to transfer you to this person or I have to transfer you to this person. Oh, I don't handle that. Um, if you're calling about, let's say your car ran into your house. So now you've got a car claim and a homeowner's claim, right? So you don't want to have to call two different companies to deal with that, you just call me and I, we take care of it. And so you, one person can take care of all of your needs rather than you having to call 15 different people and get transferred 15 diff different times because you need that department that handles that. So. Can it cost you as a consumer not having the right insurance? Oh yeah, oh yeah. So um, great story. I have a client I just wrote last month 
Um, we, in fact, we were quoting, I was quoting them out and their policy that they had was about to expire. So I picked it up on renewal and we had already were like, yep, let's do it. And then they had a water, a water line bust in their foundation. And so I called them, I was like, hey, are you guys ready to, you know, close out this policy? And they're like, well, we have to wait because now we have a claim. And I was like, what happened? She said, well, my pipe burst in my foundation. So they, the plumbing had to dig into the foundation to fix the leak and all that. And the claim was upwards of $15,000. And come to find out, she did not have coverage for that she had very little coverage and the insurance company only gave her $5,000 to cover all of those repairs that she had to do. So they were out of pocket $10,000. And her husband was like, you know, it's one thing for me to not have that coverage, but he's like, I, I didn't even know I didn't have an option for that to be covered. I didn't even know I could get that water coverage for $20 a year. Um, so, you know, he's like, they send us these papers and they expect us just to be able to read them and understand everything. But they didn't tell us that we didn't have this coverage. They didn't even offer it to us. A lot of insurance agents, they don't offer the coverages unless you ask about it. And maybe you, like, I didn't know anything about homeowners insurance until I started doing this job. So, you know, the everyday person doesn't know much about insurance and they don't know what they can have and what they can't have and what things cost. And so I always start the policy at, you know, full water coverages, good deductibles, and then we go from there and we can drop price if we need to. But I just want to make sure my clients always understand what kind of coverage they have so that when they have a claim, they know if they're going to have coverage, there's no question about it. Yeah, definitely. That's crazy. I remember one time when I was much younger, um, Max and I were just married and uh, he wrecked my car, um, total accident. But uh, I, when I was doing the policy, I didn't do the renter, the rental car, even though it was like nothing to have it done. Nine dollars a year. <laughs> yeah. So then like we had to scramble because we were down to one car and both working different jobs at the time. But yeah. um, it's so important to know about the coverage you have and yeah. um, like nine dollars a year. Who's going to miss that? You're missing the Starbucks drink maybe. You're exactly right. People are like, oh, I don't need roadside of service. And I'm just like, it's, it's literally $10 a year per car. Like, why wouldn't you have an option to have roadside unless you have something else um, or a car rental? You know, you don't know, you don't know what you know until you don't know, until you know, you know, people just, they're like, oh, I can lower my price. I, um, some companies are notorious for when you call in, they give you the absolute cheapest insurance they can give you not caring what kind of coverages it has. And, you know, it's fine if you, if price is that much of an issue and you need that cheap policy, that's fine. I will write that policy, but I just want you to understand the difference between having a better policy in cost and, you know, and having the cheap policy. So if you want to make that decision, that's fine, but at least I'm giving you an opportunity to make that decision. Whereas a lot of insurance companies, you just call in and they're like, yeah, it's this much. And you're like, well, what kind of coverages do you have? And they're like, I don't know, state minimums. And you're like, okay. And you don't know, you don't know to ask. So yeah. is it good to bundle your insurance together instead of having a bunch of different carriers? Oh yeah. So um, if you're my customer, it doesn't matter which company I write your home and auto with, you have one point of contact for both. Um, it doesn't matter if your home insurance is with a smaller homeowner's insurance company that doesn't have an auto product. I have lots of auto products to choose from. And so those companies, they still give my clients a companion discount. So you don't have to have progressive home and progressive auto. You can have anchor home and progressive auto and still get a discount. Um, it's better to have one person point of contact. You definitely get discounts when you put them together. Um, if I'm able to write you with the same company, then if something happens, say your car does run into your house because you have a teenage driver and they hit the gas instead of the brake, then you know you pay one deductible for the whole thing. You don't pay a deductible for your house and a deductible for your car. Oh, wow. That could be yeah. a huge thing. Yes, it can be a very huge thing. So when people are going out, I, I know a lot of people that are out looking to buy houses right now. Mm -hmm. What's some 
tips from an insurance agent when you're going to buy a house and how, what kind of insurance should you get on that home? Um, the first thing you should do is call an agent. <laughs> but when you are talking to the real estate agent or you're talking to the home, uh, the home, the current homeowner, you want to know things like when was the roof replaced? Um, if the roof is more than 10 years old, you're going to have a harder time finding good insurance because they know you're going to have to replace the roof soon. And so they're going to charge you higher rates automatically off the bat. So if you're under contract, um, if you're in that option period and you're trying to get a contract going, find out how old the roof is. If the roof is more than 10 years old, you need to put it in the contract that they need to get a new roof which then gives you a homeowner's discount insurance on your homeowner, a discount on your homeowner's insurance. Um, you want to know when the, the house was built, what kind of pipes are in there. Um, when you're talking to an agent, you want to know if it's an all perils policy or a named peril policy. You don't need to know what those things mean, but your agent needs to be able to give you an answer. Um, you need to know what kind of cover water coverage is. These are questions you should ask. You don't need to know the answer, but your agent needs to know the answer. And if your agent doesn't know the answer and they're like, oh, let me get back to you, then hang up the phone and call somebody else. Um, call somebody who's knowledgeable. When you're buying a house, you want to know what kind of pipes they have, uh, galvanized, especially in the older homes, they have galvanized pipes. Um, what kind of electrical they have, especially in older homes, uh, all of those things. Those wow. are things you should be asking. So much information. So they definitely need to contact an insurance agent. Yes. Uh, yes. Or. Yes. I, I, I was talking to a roofer, uh, not too long ago. And he said that if you can get a new roof on a house before you even list it, you can actually get 10 or $15,000 more on your sale price. And I didn't know it helped the buyers too. Yeah, well, and that makes a lot of sense because this is Texas, right? So it doesn't matter if you have a 30 year roof. Mother nature takes care of us with the wind and the hail. And so I always tell my clients, you know, if your roof is more than 10 years old or somewhere between five and 10, get a roofer to check it out. It doesn't cost anything and you can file a claim on your insurance to get a new roof. So then if you go to sell your house, that's one of the selling points is, you know, hey, brand new roof, saves you hundreds of dollars on your homeowner's insurance when you get a new roof. Wow, good to know. Um, do you have any insider tips for our listeners for insurance, what to do, how to get the best? If you want the best, just call me. I'm the one. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, literally that's the only advice I have is just call me. It, you know, yes, I have a lot of clients and um, you can get a free quote from me. I will quote out your home and auto for free. It doesn't cost you anything. It takes about, I usually do about two phone calls. One is a discovery phone call, which I get all your information. I run it through my system and then I call you back with some options. And if none of those options make sense, at least you know you're in a good place. So in the end, you're going to know you're in a good place either by switching to me or by keeping what you've got. I've had several customers where what they had was good and they just didn't know that it was good. And I was like, yeah, it's, it's a good option. You, you should probably stick with it. And I'm like, Hey, thanks. So you know, you don't ever in this day and age right now, everybody's homeschooling. Everybody's the teacher, right? So when you have a problem with your kid or you don't know how to do something, you're like, I need to ask their teacher. Well, that, that teacher's an expert in how to teach that kid. So don't assume that you know everything that there is to know about homeowners insurance or auto insurance. Ask an expert, call somebody. It doesn't cost you anything to give me a call. Um, I'll go over your current policy with you. I can go over some different options. And, you know, in the end, if you go with me, great. I love having new clients. But in the end, if you don't, at least I know that you're happy with what you've got and you know what kind of coverage you have. I guess that's the teacher in me, always trying to educate people. <laughs> so, Tanya, how would they get a hold of you? Um, you can call me. My phone number is... 254-870-0369. 
You can also Google Tanya King Goosehead Insurance. I have a website, I have a Facebook page, uh, any of those things. You can message me on Facebook, you can message me through text, you can email. My email address is Tanya, T-O-N-Y-A, dot King at goosehead.com. All right, now before I end an uh, interview, I always like to ask uh, if you were stranded on <laughs> a island a desert island and there was absolutely um you all your human needs are met so everything's taken care of but you could take two things with you what would be those two things you would take with you and why hmm my skates assuming i have a place to if I have a house, I'll probably have wood floors so I can skate in the house. My skates for sure, because it's a, definitely a uh, stress reliever for me to get out and put my skates on. It feels really good. Um, the other thing I would make sure that I have is a good selection of books. Um, I enjoy reading. Um, reading and skating, that's the two things that I enjoy the most. So I would definitely want to make sure that I had those things. That is awesome. Thank you so much for being a part of the Sometimes Spouse podcast. We appreciate you educating our listeners on insurance today. Yes, for sure. It's my job. And we'll probably have you back in the future. Um, I definitely want to hear more about that roller der derby. I want to quiz you. Uh, I love roller. I miss it so much. It's not even funny. Hey, whenever we finally do get to have a bout, you can come and do a live video and stream that a little bit so you know let your listeners and your audience see what it's about so they can come watch definitely well yeah. thank you to our listeners um for the sometimes spouse podcast we appreciate you guys and thanks for joining us for ask an expert thank you have a good day <laughs>